All right, let's do some uncrewed levels. This seems like it would take me like half an hour to beat, but it may be creative. Maybe. There are no hidden blocks, supposedly. Oh wait, I can kind of read that. This says Buraku, and it says Wa Arimasen, which is like, not exist. I feel like it's gonna be like a seven minute clear check time. Six minutes. Mm. You know what? We're gonna try this one. It came out a day ago as of this recording. Let's do it. Seven minute clear check time. We'll see how this is. This might be a chat is smelly moment. We'll see though. I think it's really just the puzzle. Oh, this is complicated AF, I think. So those blocks are broken. If I were to go back here, does that do anything? I get a mushroom, but uh, wait, hold on. No, wait. Now I can get a mushroom. Ho ho, wait a minute. This guy's cooking. And now we have a springboard. For what? I don't know. For nothing for now. What is this? What on earth is this? I feel like I need a super ball power up. Because it would have helped in the last room as well. I think this pipe works. It does. Okay, I think I have time to use. Is a reset door? I'm assuming we can't make this jump. Never mind. Free coin? Question mark? So now we can do this. Well, I wanted to actually see if I can get one on the far right, but let's see far left. Wait a minute. We got two of them. So we can, in fact, uh, I'm going to use this as the reset door. So we can do this. I don't know if you can get a vine on the far right, though, but this will let us progress a little further, at least. Wait, cheese? Well, not really, because I need the mushroom, I'm assuming, for part of it. Yeah, I don't think I can get this vine to the right. I'll try once. Oh wait, I know how. Assuming this pipe on the right lets me go back. I can just do it from this side. And I can't. Unless I can re-enter this pipe with a, like a, there's a block right here that this is gonna hit. My brain hurts. I have not gone in this pipe yet, I don't think. Oh uh, man, this uh, this level actually hurts my brain. I kind of wonder if this is cheese. I'm gonna try something here. Never mind. I thought I thought I could. Wait, hold on. I mean, this will work for this room. All right, because so I can kill that muncher this way. Oh no, this is blocked off. Never mind, there's no cheese. Does this pipe work? No. Wait, I'm gonna start over, because I think there's something I can do differently. Oh, never mind. The bottom always gets trapped. I wonder if this pipe works, the red pipe. Oh, it does. This is where the key door is. Dude, this is a chonker of a level. I gotta figure out how to progress. So what would this room even be? I'm pretty sure I need the Super Ball. Or a Link suit. Would that help? I think I need Super Ball for that. 
Or is there even an on-off? I guess for now we'll go back to doing this. And get the mushroom. Oh, wait. Hold on, I see something, maybe. I might see something. What? That was for nothing? I thought I was cooking for a second. Hmm. I think... F oh. Is there anything else in this room? I still don't know if these blocks are here for aesthetics or I actually have to break them somehow. Because I broke it in the first room. And it was apparently for aesthetics. Well, we can, regardless, we can definitely do this. I think to make more progress, I have to somehow get this vine to the right. One of the vines. But I don't know if I can do that with what I currently have. That's as far. Is it, does these bounce back? They don't bounce back. I guess I never checked if this red pipe above worked. So we'll see. It does not work. If I want the spike ball to go down here, I think I need a link shield. I don't think anything else would help. I might as well try to break the other blocks, I guess. I'm hoping there's like a bullet bill launcher in one of these. It's like one of these. You do, do you do anything? You scroll the screen down. It's kind of cool, I guess. I'm almost mad this doesn't do anything. Supposedly doesn't do anything. I'm breaking all the blocks right now with this bob bomb. Every single one. Something will happen, maybe. Okay, I give up. I don't think any of these will do anything. Dude, I might have to. I might have to. I might have to consult my stinky chat. Cause I'm almost out of ideas. Wait, I know how to make progress. Do I? Wait. Do I know how to make progress? The moment I don't know how to make any more progress, I gotta consult my stinky chat. I don't think I can influence that spike ball anyway. Hmm. Wait, there's two key doors. I just realized there's the red coin, the red on off one, and that one right there. Why is there a second key door? I never actually tried. Can I collect this coin? I can collect it if I'm big. That will let me actually uh, get a little further. I kind of assumed that is. Didn't, wasn't able to reach it. I should have tried. So the very first thing now we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back at the P-switch and I'm gonna collect that coin. Which means I can enter the top left door now. And if that top left door doesn't have either a banger or a link suit, then I don't know how I make more progress at the moment. So now we just, uh, you know, the little re-enter, enter. And now, we see what's in the door. Alright, we've made progress. I just... With the power of video editing, I get to do everything I did the first time. Alright, I think we've gone back to where we were now. So, uh... Yeah. Shat, you're back to being smelly. So this changes... Which means we can't enter the red pipe and we can't get this red coin. Which I couldn't anyways, but... It's cool to know. So now we go into the blue pipe, which is this way. Blue pipe... Oh, shoot! We got some progress now. What do we do with this newfound power? I guess we just break blocks randomly, right? No, I'll have to figure out what we do here. I mean, I can hit this. Don't know exactly how that helps me. Oh, maybe not the banger to get this guy. I don't think I... What? I think I do actually have to air it somehow. Eh, there might be claw tag. Let's just pretend I got that or something. We'll see what's over here. So maybe there is no banger after all. Can I link suit this entire thing? It doesn't hurt to break all these blocks, right? So 
and we have no way to. Well, I have to deboost this, right? But uh, I can break this one too. Okay, well I'll break it later. So I'm gonna break one of these. All right. I think these are just aesthetics. Yeah, they're for just aesthetics. Okay, whatever. I can get another link suit. I'm gonna break this because I want to. Okay, nothing there. Maybe if I use a springboard to get the claw, then I can actually like somehow get it. But again, I'll deal with it later. So if I want to get this red coin, I need to break the block right above where I am, next to the red coin, I think. No, I need to break the... wait. No, I can break this one. Oh yeah, I can get it now. Right. No, I can't. I thought I could jump through the saw. Never mind. Wait, no, I can. I can just go to the... wait, I think I can get it now. And it's kind of annoying to have to go back for the link suit, though. I'm assuming I can go through the saw now. So I think the other blocks are red herrings. Kind of. Alright, so how many are we actually missing? I'm missing the one next to the pow- or in the power room, which is this one. I'm missing the one at the very beginning of the level. So I'm still missing three more. Do I have the tools necessary to get this one yet? I'll break that. I don't know if that's gonna help me at all. I'm gonna run out of time. Actually, I wonder if I can hit this fine now. Will the Linksuit help me here? I went the wrong way. I can do that. Which almost helps. I need to somehow figure out to get this one. Oh, I can get this one now. Oh, wait, there's two in this room. Okay, so we're missing, uh... So we got those two missing three. I know where two of them are. Where's the last one? It has to be, I think, in that key door room with the red on-offs. I'm gonna time out. Where on earth is the last, or I guess I have a hunch where it is. Unless I take the key door to get into that room. <laughs> okay, I gotta start over. Chat's still smelly. You guys are still smelly. Stinky, st stinky chat. Let me test something actually while we're here. I think I... Is there like claw tech here? Oh wait, maybe I just link suit it. The spring went into that. That actually might be what I'm supposed to do. If I like sort it. Anyways, let's just keep getting the link suit. Let me actually try something. So, I want to go back to the conveyor room. So I'm going to swap this back. So I can see if I actually supposed to sort the springboard into the... No, I'm definitely supposed to sort the springboard into the claw. There's no shot. That's not what I do. So I just go like this. I'm not in if I get in there. Oh, get- okay. There you go. Yeah, this is 1000% what you do. Sick. Okay, so now we got on that. And now I can jump cut because I got all these already. Two left, and we know where one of them is. This pipe doesn't actually work, does it? Can I, like, check? I guess we gotta double check. It actually works! Okay. Well, this is a little scary. And there better be like floor on the ground, because if, if you die, that's actually I'm I don't I wouldn't like that. I I hope there is ground there. Cause getting all this progress just to die to that would be annoying. I like that obstacle though, because if you get the link suit, you don't get you you are one block shorter. I'm glad I checked. So our last obstacle is this red coin, which I will figure out how to get. 
I'm gonna pause because the timer is ticking and I want to think. Wait, I think I was right. Hold on. Wait, does this piece switch respawn? If this piece switch respawns and what I said was right. It's there! Yeah, so I just use- I time it right so the muncher dies to the piece switch. And then I just win. Well, I don't win, but I need to, you know, get through the key door. And see what else is there. Alright, I think it was right when it E flat, right? Oh, man. That was like a frame too early. Or too late. Oh, no, the timer! That ruined my visual, or my audio cue. Okay, I, I gotta just do it from here. When, when is it swap again? Alright, so like right when it goes to B flat, like like a little after that. Like right there. Oh, that's bad. Okay, that has to be it. Oh ho ho! What is this? A red coin. We've gone all of them. I hope do these cues actually link up? Because I don't want to hit the on off. Let's find out, I guess. They shouldn't link up, should they? What? There's more. Why is there... There's one final puzzle, and I'm about to time out. Um... What? Okay, I think what I have to do is see that wing block? I think it goes over to another side of the low. Does it? I have to kill it somehow, and I think I need to use that one room that I didn't go into. Which I forget where it was, because it was like five years ago. Oh, it's this room. I, but I can't get there without the on-off, can I? I really want to beat it, because I'm going to have to do this all over again. This room has something magical. This can't be- this- this- I feel like this room has importance, right? But how do I get here with the on-off state? Well, I think I'm timing out. Not like this. Nope, not timing out because I'm starting over. Dude, actually, we're we'll record If you jump off the spinning board and it's in mid-air, then you can collect the coin. And you don't need the mushroom, so you save a little bit of some time. Dude, this level is uh, actually like exhausting all my brain power right now. Thank god there's ground, alright. Thank god. I went way too early, dude, I think. Is, is this cheese? <laughs> There's a part of me that believes this is cheese, but I feel like it's not. I'm bald, though. Maybe this cheese, if it's hard to execute. I'm so bald, I'm so bald, I'm so bald. Oh, I'm actually the most bald person here. I think it's the cheese. I think, I think this is cheese. There you go. I actually forget where I'm going. <laughs> I'm just gonna break blocks while I'm doing this. Oh wait, is this a two wide? Oh, I was wondering. Okay, because when I had this on off, I was like, there's a two wide thing here. Wait a minute, we have technology maybe? So if I somehow get the vine there. How on earth do I... So we discovered some new things. Oh wait, I can swap the on-off from up here now. Oh! Hmm. Wait, we might be this- wait, hold on. The new developments. New developments! I knew breaking blocks in the floor would eventually do something. Just kidding, what? There's a limit, okay. I thought I was cooking. <laughs> we'll figure this out later. I was cooking for a second, and now I, I'm no longer cooking. The worst part is I'm just- I'm always lost. I forget where to go. Oh, I didn't do this part yet. Shoot. Okay, we'll do this later. 
One of the most complicated. This might be my favorite puzzle level, I'm not gonna lie. It's like very complicated, but it's fun. Where am I going? I forget where I go. Oh yeah, I need to switch it on off. And I aim! Thank you. Okay. Back to this. Um, just gotta figure out what this is. Do I just like randomly break blocks now? Or something? I don't know what else I can do at the moment. Because I, I kept track and right now I'm in the main world. I was trying to see if I could somehow force a screen scroll so I can break the thingy block. But I don't think these are actually anything. No, this is, yeah, it's a sub world. I don't think that's anything. Maybe. How would I? I need. I think this room is very important. I just want to make sure. Is, I'm going to tell anyways, but. Yeah, that is death. I'm so close, dude. Yo, watch this world record chat. Your boy! I'm so mad, though. This, I feel like this room has importance with what I found out. There's got to be some importance. I can activate the on off, but I don't know what else that'll help me with. I mean, I do need to swap it back to get in that other room, but I can't get in that other room without, like, swapping it later. So I thought I would take the vine to go all the way up to something helpful. There's a limit. There's a hole in that ceiling. It's gonna kind of sus. I'm always, I, the problem is I'm just always lost. I always forget which type this, uh, this is. So I need to do the, the conveyor belt room, but is it this one? No, I think it's the other room, isn't it? You're back here. Where's the sus hole I saw? Oh, it's here. Is there any way to get to that sus hole? These always respawn. These are vine blocks. That's not gonna do anything. I'm like thinking hard right now. I wish this actually kept going up. Why do you have to stop? Wait, does this stop because I actually just despawn it? I think it just stops. Oh. I guess... No, I think it does... Man, I thought you'd be helpful. Oh, wait, it... I guess it keeps going up. I mean, is that actually what I'm supposed to do? I feel like the, I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna time out. The problem is, this guy's in the way. I need that guy to not be in the way. I think after this temp attempt, I may have to give up and just look in the program to see what I have to work with. Because the, pro the problem is, I've done this every single time. I, I can get to the door. But the process of getting to the door takes six minutes. <laughs> That's the issue. Every six minutes, I, I can spend one minute thinking about what to do next. So I feel like, if anything, there should be a checkpoint like right after you get the key door. So I have to do this 500 times. Because I already know how to do all this. And that's the only thing I'm missing though. I'm pretty sure if I get this vine all the way up for an infinite until like the very top, it does, it, that'll give me something. And I just gotta figure out how I can get that vine. This one right here. Because this one right here is in the way. If I can figure that out, then we may have some more developments. I never broke this. I should break that just in case. Oh, I can't, because I can't get in this room with a Link suit. I don't think. Can I? I think after this temp, I'm gonna, I'm going to concede, because I don't want to do this for eight minutes every single time to get a, to get the key door that I already know how to get, and to solve one more slight puzzle. The only logical way is if I can re-enter this pipe. I think somehow. Can I re-enter this? Okay, I think I concede. I'm gonna at least look at the program to see what if there's anything to work with. If there was a checkpoint after the keynote, that'd be fine. That would keep going, but again, I don't want to spend nine minutes each time just to have one, like, a hundred seconds. 
to see what I'm doing. I'm still not looking at chat. All right. You, you guys are still smelling for now. I just want to see what I have to work with. I gave it like literally half an hour. So I am correct in the sense that this is important. So if I get the vine up here, I do get a key. So I mean, that much I knew is just the process of how to actually get this. I guess what we can check is if I blow up any more blocks, does that actually help anything? Okay, so I was also right about this being sus. I just didn't know how to get there. So I guess theoretically, so we get this, right? It's an SME2 mushroom. Because I, I did want to get up here, but I just couldn't figure out how. So if we get the SME2 mushroom. Oh, is that when I can actually use a spring? Wait, that might be it then. Because I, I, I wanted to get back into the uh, this pipe, right? And I can with the sideways springboard. I was trying to also figure out how. Well, I think if I do break this block, I can get the SME2 mushroom and then grab this guy. Throw it here. I can go back, which lets me get the key. But how would the key help me? There's the other key door. This one. This key door takes me to... This, which is what I need to just destroy this block. So that is the solution. <laughs> I knew it. I was at least able to piece what I need to do. So th that's the steps I was missing. But the question remains on how to achieve that. But now I have unlimited time to think. I'm still not looking at chat. You guys are smelly. So I guess this is the first priority. If we get this, then we can figure out the next part. Because I need the SME2 mushroom to execute this, this part. So I'm just going to stare intensely at this part until I figure it out. Well, actually before, there's no more hidden things, right? I pretty much unlocked everything. I, I Like I have all the information, right? It's just a matter of piecing the information together with my big brain. Because again, I am not spending nine minutes just to think. I already figured out all this by myself, all right? Yeah, and that's the end. I'm curious, so if you can actually jump from here, like, I don't know if you can actually land on this ledge. Can you imagine you land here and then you jump over the top? I don't know if that screen will let you jump over the top because there's nothing up top. I don't think the screen actually scrolls up. Anyways, that's a sidetrack. Anyways, back to staring intensely at this for five years until I figure it out. In the meantime, we'll play this. You get the underground banger. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. No, oh, even better. I'm not gonna maul. You get something better than a maul, okay? Well, I think. You can probably know this is where this is going. Okay, now I'm, now I'm thinking. And then once I give up, I will console chat. I don't know how long I'm gonna just stare at this. I can tell the title three times out. I gave myself 500 seconds. I just gotta double check. There is no, like, shell there, right? There's no way to... Yeah, I think it's, I just, that's all the information I get to myself. What I'm thinking is... So I did want to break these blocks, and I, I saw there was a block here beneath the donut. So what I'm thinking is... If you can break these blocks, you know, cheap dropping bomb bombs, bombs down here, you can eventually break this block. But the problem is, I want to make this pipe, but I'm pretty sure I need a mushroom to get the height required, right? I guess I can test. Was it set six tall? Do I actually have enough height to make this jump? If I do, then that's how I do it. I just always thought I needed a mushroom to make this, but if I can make this jump, it's over, Reese. It's, it's Jover. It's Jover, dude. So if I make this jump, then I, I know how to beat this level. Okay, I think I understand. So you need max speed. And the way I I was I kind of dismissed that is because like there there is like this wall, right? Which let, doesn't let me get max speed. But since I have a wingsuit, right? I can just start a dash like this. And then I can make the height. Well, I guess it was also like kind of walled off. Okay, let me actually rebuild it so I can see if that's actually possible this is how it's set up just like this this in this area right here if i can begin this pipe then i know how to beat this level all right i've done it i figured it out all by myself with a little bit of assistance i'm kind of sad I, I had to use the program in a way but if I figured out this one key part, where I was like, oh, maybe I can make it. And I use Link's dash momentum. 
Like, I didn't need the program to figure this out. And if I figure that out, then I could, you know, go in the bumper room and start breaking blocks and playing around. Eventually, I, I would have pieced it together, but I kind of did. So now we can just do this entire level. Ready? Here we go. That means I can look at chat. You guys are smelly. I understand. I know what I'm doing. You got Hey, guys. How's it going? No! Oh, the world record. Is there any other way to get that first red coin? This one right here? Or is this... I don't know if my way is cheese. How do you get this coin? You can, like, sword the launcher, but you can't... You can't... Or you can, like, you can push it, right? But you can't really... You can't kill it. Can you get the SMB2 before? Can you? I guess yes? I guess if you can get that before, that might help a little. How would that help you, though? Oh, I forget where I'm going. Oh, this way. The worst part is I'm just always lost in my process of where I'm going. Da 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 da. Where am I going this way? No. Yes, this way. Dude, I... these two pipes. I'm just always confused. Aha. Uh -huh. But yeah, if we can figure out how to do this coin, get this coin right here without what I did. Like you can break this block. I don't know how an SMB too much will help you. You can sort it. I don't know. The important thing is I my way works. What? No, I gotta do a lap, man. Oh, unoptimal. That's so sneaky. I love it, dude. I love that. Oh, this is a little scuffed, though. That- that- this- this part, I'm gonna say, is a little scuffed because you can't see what's down there. If I could still see there's more blocks down there, then I probably would have been fine, or I would have, like, kept doing it. But the fact that th that is a little- that's blind. I don't like that. Because you don't know what's down there. You don't know the order of these rooms. Otherwise, that would have been a little more fine. I think it would have been fine if you only had to break a block once there. Is this the right spot? Well, I guess in the way a lot of this is blind. I don't know, because you can see this springboard. Because once you get the SME2 mushroom, that you... Once you know... So once you get the SME2 mushroom... Oh my god, this is actually kind of annoying. Okay. Yeah, once you get the SME2 mushroom, you kind of know that... You, you might... Or you have the knowledge to be able to be like, oh, there's a, there's a springboards here I can maybe use. I don't like the fact that that was blind. Where am I going? I have to pause because I forget what I, what I missed. Oh, the bumper room. I never actually got the, the freaking coin. Well, the problem is there's a lot of blocks that are also red herrings. Like all these blocks, some of them are actually connected to the ground or ceiling, but they actually aren't useful. As opposed to a blind block you have to break that you don't know is there as well. Oh wait, do I need a mushroom for this? Maybe this is why I needed a mushroom. Can I still get this without a mushroom? Ah, so the mushroom was important. So I needed it for that. Okay, so I guess that my way of doing this was important. Well, the other problem is you have to throw two bob bombs down there, not just the one. If you throw one, you'd be like, okay, it didn't appear to do anything. Maybe it did. I guess if your hint is, if you... I, I didn't pay attention. If you can see that there is a block that broke there, like you see the particles, then it's a little more okay. Because you're like, oh, it broke a particle? Then maybe you can be like, let me try another one. And if nothing happens from that point, then you're good. But if you don't see a block particle broken, then that's a problem. I guess it would have been a little different, because I knew it was there from the program. If I didn't know, going from the perspective of someone who didn't know it was there, I think I would have paid attention to see if it did anything. So it may have been okay. If, if you see the, bar, the, the block particles, then it's a little more okay. I'm gonna time out. I have to think. Where am I going? Well, I mean, I need this anyways. <laughs> the boss, dude. Where am I? <laughs> oh, I need to think. To even remember where I'm going, so I still need to go back this way for the SME2. I think it's the only thing I'm missing, right? 50 seconds to do all this. You might get another mauler. Oh, thank god, dude. I was like, if I had to do something to actually get that, <laughs> I had to do more thinking. Okay, so now we have, uh... Where am I going? Um... And you go back to the springboard room. That's the peace switch area, I think. I think I time out. Yeah, I time out. 
Maybe that's why they didn't put a checkpoint, because even though you get the key door, you technically don't have everything you need. Like, you can get the key door without... Um, getting everything. Like, this says, I got the key door without the SSB2 mushroom, so... Oh, I messed up. Oh, no, I, yeah, I time out. You get another mauler. This time I know everything. stuff down here. Okay. Is there... A... Okay, you can see the block break, so you do it again. This part's acceptable. Final answer, Steve. This part is fine. Well, the thing being hidden behind, like, the SMB2 mushroom behind a block, it, it could go either way. It is a little scuffed that, um, it was, like, hidden, quote-unquote hidden. Only because, like, there's so many blocks you could break here. At some point, you think it's a red herring to try to break a block. Because that's what I was doing at the beginning. Where it was like, surely this block being broken will do something, and it doesn't. But then you find out that one block that you didn't do actually does something can make it slightly scuffed. But on the bright side, it... It's fine because... I despawned it, what am I doing? It's fine because the bumper part leads you to believe it's of, of its importance. But you don't know what that importance is until you randomly might stumble across the, uh, the SMB2 mushroom. So the means to that is fine. If it was just like, oh, I can blow up the... I'm, I'm gonna... Oh, gate okay, save. The, mean, the means to actually get this SMB to bunch him is fine, as a result. I don't know if that made sense. Okay, I'm just gonna wait here. Now it's also like this part, cause like... E e you kinda, kinda see you're missing something, as a result. Alright, thinking emoji. What am I missing now? I have to think, dude. Oh, so I need to get back in the red on off. Did I ever figure that out? Wait a minute, I might not I might not figure that part out by myself, did I? I might I might have had to do one more thing. Um well first I need to swap this. Oh wait. Oh wait, no, I should have enough height, never mind. So I I used the pal. Wait, can I drop the pal? Shoot. Yeah, because I have SME2 mushroom. I think that should be enough height. So now we can use the pal. I think I, if I can drop it, not throw it. Wait. Hold on, I'm gonna do something for science. Oh, I like this part too. It's a secondary puzzle. You always throw with SME2 mushroom. So as a result, you throw it into the claw, and then claw drops it onto the conveyor. See? Look at that. Or you suck like I do. Okay, whatever, that works. And then it shouldn't have enough height, right? I love this puzzle. This puzzle's great. Except for here, you can die. I don't like that. Can you can you just put why can you like put ground or something? This is like the only place you can really die. So now I hit you. Okay. Uh. Wait, let me double check. That's it, dude! We just get to that door. Just don't die here. If anything, I feel like that that is the only thing I would, I would fix in this puzzle. Because how tragic would it be if you get to the end and then, like, I don't know, you, your jump gets eaten somehow, and then you just die. And then I would be extremely sad, especially how long this puzzle level is. Look, look at this puzzle level. 
I I was trying so hard to think and I almost timed out. I'll get one homie one up. Hey, at least you get the top. That's it. This puzzle took almost two hours. Oh my goodness. But I will say it is probably the best puzzle level I've ever played. Wait, seven minutes. Wait, I thought the max was ten minutes. Anyways, yeah, that was fantastic. Great level. Very good puzzle level. Wait, I just want to check the time limit. Did I do my math right? Was it was it 500 seconds? Is 500 seconds eight minutes? Oh, it is. All right, yeah. I guess I thought it was 10 minutes for some reason. All right, after playing this level for two hours and being able to like nitpick some stuff, I would say pretty much everything is good. Um, besides potentially dying. <laughs> I guess that's a small thing. Like if you can just cover that would be great. Not the end of the world. But the puzzles themselves were really creative. I like the use of like the same room, but you have to do a different thing to achieve a, like something else. At first we thought the bob bomb, like the bumper part was a scuff, but you can physically see like blocks breaking, which means you're doing something. And as a result, it leading to the SME two mushroom is fine, right? So that one, that one gets a pass. Everything else, I mean, that's really liked. I still have no idea if the first key coin, like you can see in the thumbnail. At the very beginning, I don't know if that's intended, but my way works and that's fine. The sword dash in the pipe was sick. I did like that a lot. It was so creative. This is by far the best puzzle I've ever, I've ever played. Like, I liked it a lot. The only downside is uh, how lengthy it is. Like, even after getting the key door, you're technically not done. I thought getting in that first key door was like, all right, we're good to go. And then there's like one final thing. There's like, oh, I have to somehow break that block or hit it. It was one of the two. But to do that, I had to do like eight more things. Which is, I guess, why you can't put a checkpoint in, because of how you can get through that key door and still be missing a lot of things. So the downside is the fact that even if you like know what to do, you don't have a lot of time to actually do it all. Like I timed out once, because I messed up a few times, but other than that, it was it was great. I would highly, re well, I guess if you watch this, then you, <laughs> you already know the solution. But if you know someone that likes puzzle levels, I would highly recommend it. I'm gonna send it to Carl, I think. This is this is like the best puzzle I've ever played. This, but yeah, this was a this was a hidden gem. I'm really, really, really impressed with this. This might be like top 10 levels ever, even as a puzzle level, like one of the best levels I ever played. Super duper creative. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I would have not used a program if it wasn't for the fact that every time I got to the key door, I had like 100 seconds left to think. But I mean, we got to like the conclusion of how to beat it by myself as a result of just seeing. But that's okay. I had fun. All that matters is you have fun in puzzle levels and you, you do it how you like it. And then I didn't look at chat the entire time, and I'm glad you guys are bathed now. You, you're not stinky. Do they have any levels? Let's see. Well, based on how they made this level, I feel like all their other levels would be also creative. I don't know if they're all puzzles. Some of them look like... Actually, I feel like most of these are puzzles, huh? Some of them probably aren't. Like, this looks... I don't know what this is. It might be stupid, but... I mean, this is great. Fantastic. I'm gonna like... I'm gonna like you. I'm gonna follow you. Maybe I'll check out other levels by them. You take out, you take one of the donut blocks from the top of the vertical room back through the pipe. Oh, that's how you get the muncher or the coin. That's how you do it. Okay, and I understand. So these donut blocks didn't have a purpose. So I did cheese it. So you, you, you go on this donut block and then after you break the, uh, you know, this, this thingy, you can go all the way down and then you see the stone block? This one is perfectly aligned with this column, which lets you go back in the pipe. As a result, if you switch not activated, you can get the coin like that. That's big brain. This makes me like the puzzle even more. Although I cheesed it. Maybe they can fix this cheese. Dang, would I have figured that out? I don't know if I would have figured that out by myself, honestly. Maybe eventually I would have pieced it together where it's like, oh, if I can somehow get back in this pipe, but I can't. But then maybe I see these rooms are linked. I'm like, oh, donut blocks fall. And then I guess you can kind of see like which one because you are able to deduce that this is four away from the wall. And then you go up here and be like, oh, this is four away. But I think I'm too, I'm too dumb to figure that out. That makes me like this puzzle more. But yeah, if they fix that cheese and that's great. They, sh they should do that. Maybe I should, maybe I should comment that. I'm going to comment. No, then they're going to delete it. And then my, my world record be gone. <laughs> I'll do. I'll, I'll leave a comment. Show you the donut block. Oh my god! Can I? How long would it take to get there? It would take quite a while to get there, wouldn't it? It would take a quite a while. You know what? Fine. I'll. I'll, I'll do it.
The, the tubers don't have to watch the process because I can just skip it. So, what you do is break this this guy. I guess we'll see if these despawn. I don't know if they despawn off. They shouldn't. I guess you can only have time to despawn. And then you do that to get this coin. That is so smart! Anyways, I'll leave a comment for a cheese. And then you can fix it. Make you big brain that solution. I don't know if they're going to understand English, though. Hopefully they can use Google Translate like I do for Japanese comments. Hey, Colin! I'll let them figure out how they can use that to cheat. Because I don't think I could fit it all. Alright, there you go. There, there you go. Alright, that's the conclusion of this level. I think we've scienced it now. That we understand how to get every single red coin. And there you go. 0.72% clear rate. Very fun. Very... I'm still really impressed with this level. It's so good. Oh, fantastic level. Such a, such a great puzzle level. I mentioned earlier that I might do more puzzle levels. I'm, I'm still unsure. If I do puzzle levels, I'm not going to stream it because I don't want to. Or I'll have to have a stinky chat for the entire time. So it'll be, it'll be off. Probably YouTube exclusive content if I do puzzle levels. We'll see. I don't know.